Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I want to shoot with the Polaroid SX70 Sonar One Step, so let's go. So yeah, the Polaroid SX70, um, I shoot this camera all the time, you guys know that by now. Um, so yeah, I wanted to take this out and I also have some news to discuss with you uh, right now actually. Um, so you know how I said that I wasn't going to school, or I think I did tell you guys, um, I'm not sure. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I am going back to Santa Fe, so yay. I know I was unsure about that for the past couple of months really because they didn't really let us know until last week is when I got an email that I'll be going back to Santa Fe because I did get a dorm. Um, so I am really excited for that, and I can't wait to go. Um, I am going to leave uh, in about a week and a half from now, really, on the 16th. So uh, I'll, I'll make a video on that, um, me going to Santa Fe and all, unpacking everything, packing everything up. Um, I haven't really done much packing um, as of now. It's more or less just trying to get things together, I guess. I don't know. It's kind of been why I, I took a two-week break from videos, just because I've been trying to wrap my head around that trying to get things prepared and all. Uh, I did some shopping and all that, um, and I still need more to do, so that's pretty much it. That's all the news I want to share with you guys. Not much has been going on, you know? Um, so yeah, so I am gonna be shooting um, black and white SX-70 film. Um, this has been, I have, I've had this for a while. Yeah, this is um, batch number 120, as hopefully you can see it. Um, so yeah, I've had this in my fridge for a while, and it should still be good, considering it's only been six months. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna be shooting a still life actually. Um, I sort of trying to put a still life up over there. So, um, you'll see it in a bit. So. <laughs> so I'm not gonna put that much natural light from the window from the outside into the photo. Um, it's gonna be more from artificial light. Um, so such as my lamp. <laughs> um, so it is gonna be on. Hopefully, yeah, it's gonna be on a tripod. Um, and I'm gonna be using this. This is a shutter release cable that I made. Um, here is the button. Hopefully you can see that. Um, so yeah, that's the button and it attaches with these right here to the camera. Hopefully you can see that as well. Probably not. Um, but yeah, um, so the way this works is you see those two holes on the camera on the side. Yeah, right there. Um, so basically these two go into the thing. Hold on. Okay, so yeah, these two go into that hole as you can see it. Yeah, I'm, I'm inserting it right now. So insert it, and now the camera, um, you can actually take the photo with this right here, with this button. So I'm gonna do that, so, ready, three, two. So yeah, it just took a photo um, because of the shutter release cable, and I made this a couple months ago, really, and I haven't really used it much. Um, but it's good for if you're taking night portraits or night shots, you know, if you're trying to get some, like a landscape. Um, it's really good to have one of these just so you, um, I know from experience if you push this down and you're in really um, low light situations, um, you are going to like shake the camera a bit when you take the photo. Unless you're really still and you're really good at that, then you don't need one. Um, but for me, I tend to shake the camera a bit when I take the photo. Um, I try not to, but it just happens. Uh, so yeah, this shutter release cable is really good and, and a tripod as well. So yeah, I'm going to be using that. And so yeah, I recommend you guys make one or find a listing online if you're wanting to get one of these. All right, so just to show it again, you know, you have your shutter release cable. You put it into the slots right there on the side of the camera, which is those two holes. And then once you got everything in, um, yeah, you just press the button. Um, I got this button um, just from True Value. Um, if you have one around you, I recommend. They have a lot of buttons over there. They had a variety of it. Um, but this is one, just a simple one that they got. And, you know, you just push it down and it takes a photo. So once I do it again, ready, three, two. And then it pushes, it takes a picture. <laughs> All right, so let's load up the camera now and we can get shooting. Here we have it. All right, so I got the film loaded and everything, so it should be good now. Um, for those of you who don't know what kind of camera this is, this is a Polaroid SX-70 Sonar One Step. Um, the Sonar is actually this up here, which actually um, auto-focuses for your subject you're trying to shoot um, by sending out sound waves and everything by half pressing the shutter button. So if I press it down, as you can see, 
it focuses on your subject um, for what's closest to the camera actually and then it automatically focuses um, there's also a manual focus as well if you just push that down you can just turn the wheel um, so yeah it's a pretty basic camera you know you have your um, exposure compensation up here um, your lens and everything it also has a tripod mount on the bottom also you have your flash up here too which you can insert all right so that's pretty much everything so yeah let's get shooting all right so here is a little thing i made i don't know if you could call it a still life um but whatever i tried finding more things to put in here but i couldn't find anything uh, i don't really have much around here i'm actually gonna light this candle in here if i can there we go all right so i'm actually gonna put this in now so i should put it in be very careful so yeah, once you have your shutter release cable in, you can now take the shot. So, all right, so this is gonna be shot number one. I'm actually gonna turn on the exposure just a bit. About right there, should be good and I should have already focused, but let me just make sure. Yep, everything looks good. So, firing a shot in three, two, and there you have it. So now we get a close-up shot. So let me just move this forward just a bit. I kind of want to take a picture of the flame itself. I kind of want the flame to be in the center of the shot. Oh, I think I got it good right now. Everything looks good, so. Firing in three, two. So there you have it. And now I'm just gonna get another shot, but from this side. Kind of like this right here, so. I'm gonna take the shot down. So firing in three, two. Come on. So there you have it. I kind of want to just get like, or actually I kind of want to move things around a bit, but I'm not sure. And now I kind of want to just take a picture of the camera itself. So let me just move this right here. So I actually put the candle right there and my camera is right there. So I'm going to take the shot in three, two. That'll look cool. So in three, Two. And there you have it. All right, so we're coming up to our last three shots and I'm just trying to get things fixed. I'm actually just gonna rip one of these fake flowers out and put it somewhere. All right, firing in three. Two. I'm just gonna get a close-up shot of those flowers right there. So everything should be focused. Just make sure. All right, firing in three, two. All right. Last shot in three, two. And there you have it. That was all eight shots. So I hope you guys enjoyed the photos just as much as I did. Um, there's not really much to talk about other than uh, just going back to Santa Fe really. Um, there probably won't be a video next week uh, because I'll be getting everything together, getting things packed and ready to go. Um, but I can assure you there, there will be a video two weeks from now, so the week I get back to Santa Fe. Um, because I'll be taking videos and photos along the way there. Um, and it'd be really nice to have sort of like a nice travel video, you know, going back to school and everything. 
Um, I already got um, most of my shopping done. I just need to get art supplies and everything else. Um, I'm excited to live on my own um, or in my own space really because like I said, I want to set up my room sort of like a little studio to take portraits and photos and everything. And yeah, I get to have like a, a nice little desk for my videos and everything. Um, I want to make like a nice background instead of having this background. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm really excited to do that and so expect a video on that soon or within like two weeks from now. Um, and that's pretty much it for this video. So I forgot to mention one thing and this. This is a Nicromat EL. Um, I got this as a gift from my aunt um, and I bought some film for it. Um, the only thing I need to get is some batteries for the camera. Um, I think everything still is fine. I've been trying to get used to it. Uh, I've been watching videos and um, researching it. Um, and it's really nice so far. Uh, I can't wait to shoot with this. Um, and I'll probably make a video about this um, relatively, not relatively soon, but um, sometime in the near future, um, when, once I get it settled into Santa Fe and I can develop my photos. So I'm really looking forward to that. So that is all for this video. Um, hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, like, subscribe, comment if you have any questions. Um, so I guess that's, yeah, pretty much it. <laughs> Um, later, and I'll see you guys within two weeks or so. So, bye.